This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. On this 20th day of September, this is uh, Wednesday. We're looking at this Fed day, Fed speak this afternoon between 2 and 2.45. We'll get a lot of information. Eastern time, that is 34,662, up 144 points in the Dow. It's gone, spiked over yesterday's uh, high, and it's in this inside track repellent zone, which we will come a propellant zone if this afternoon at after three o'clock, if it's trading, I would say, I see the subscribers, if it's up over 130 at that particular time, we could have a very nice close. If it's down 130, it just means we stuck in this range. Looking at the S&P, we're looking at the S&P right now, and the S&P is trading up. I think it is up 14. Yes, it's up 14. Um, and, you know, that nine-period moving average in the Dow is pink and the nine-period moving average in the S&P is pink. That has to change. And if it changes, you have to see 45, 44, mm, I'd say 44, 72 or higher will start to make that uh, green again. So we're watching this really closely because the QQQ, um, not great actions, up 90 cents at 370. Uh, let's see. Oh, and it turned yesterday, intraday. The nine period went under the 14, but it closed green. And now today it's got an S there. And we're going to be watching this very closely. IWM, IWM is a Russell 2000. Very nice move up, $1.76. And what 83.44, it always does that. It has a sudden last bit of hope. Well, gold is up nicely. <clears throat> up 10 at 1964, making the second cup formation. So it's a W. It makes the 1970 200-period exponential moving average this afternoon really important to close above. That would be very good for gold. Uh, we're looking at the dollar pulling back just a little bit. Dollar is pulling back 23 ticks at 104.92. It's had four sessions with lower highs than the 105.44 high that was made five sessions ago. We're going to be watching this for the close. Tomorrow we might have a completely different scenario, and I'll talk about that because the TLT – is right at the 92 support. It's at 93.37. The dollar is up at resistance. Uh, we're going to be watching to see whether these two very important uh, influences uh, kick in today. And crude oil, in fact, is down uh, six cents. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my opening call. They didn't use that. See you in a few moments.